quick note before I get started in the lecture. If you are in eighth grade math, algebra one, or geometry, your homework assignment for this video will tell you what page in your composition notebook you are supposed to be writing all of these properties down. If you're in one of those three classes, you do not need to take extra notes. You can put these notes directly into your composition notebook. Um, for the other classes that I've assigned this video, you do need to take notes, and I will be looking at the, those notes. So we use the properties of real numbers and the properties of equality and properties of inequality to solve equations. So these are the things that you've been using um, since elementary and middle elementary and middle school to solve equations. You may not have necessarily heard of the names of the properties, but I do expect you to, if I tell you, um, give you an example, I expect you to be able to tell me what property is used in that example, or you tell me what property something represents. <coughs> so the first one is the commutative, and I'm going to check the spelling. Like I told you earlier, I'm not the best speller for some of these. Commutative property of addition. Okay. Big thing to remember is the word commutative means order does not matter in this case. A plus B is the same thing as B plus A. A real world example, 3 plus 4 is the, exactly the same thing as 4 plus 3. So if I'm given 3 plus 4, I can rewrite it directly as 4 plus 3. I can change the order of addition. Then I have the commutative property of multiplication. Again, order does not matter. A times B is the same thing as B times A. 3 times 4 is the exact same thing as 4 times 3. So those are my two commutative properties. I have the associative. Associ Again, spelling, yep, property of addition. And uh, the associative property, say voice inflection does not matter. Basically, it says if I have a purely addition problem that has parentheses in it, I can move the parentheses in whatever method I desire. For example, A plus B plus C is the same thing as A plus B plus C. That's why I said voice inflection. A plus B plus C is the same thing as A plus B plus C. Parentheses can be moved around in purely addition problems. Example, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 5 plus 1 is 6. I also have the associative property of multiplication. which says that A times B times C is the same thing as A times B times C. 2 times 3 times 4 is the exact same thing as 2 times 3 
times 4? 6 times 4 is 24. 12 times 2 is 24. When I have the distributive properties, And this is where I combine these two properties together. I have A times B plus C. That is equal to A times B plus A times C. And if I have A plus B times C, notice I can take the commutative property, move this C out in front, and then just use that top property. Or you can think of it as A times C plus B times C. Examples. 3X times 2 plus X is 3X times 2. And plus 3x times x. I'm not going to simplify this, but that's the work that you would be doing for that. And here, x plus 5 times x squared would be x times x squared plus 5 times x squared. Again, I'm not going to simplify. I'm just showing you how to use those two properties. One thing to note is that this distributive property works both directions. So if you have something that looks like x cubed plus 5x squared, you can take it and pull out that x squared and return back to our original problem. And that's called factoring. So what I'm going to put a little note here is distribute is the reverse of factoring, which you did with integers previously. Next, we have our additive identity property. It says any number plus zero gives us our original number. An example would be 5x cubed plus zero gives me back my original number. Next, we have multiplicative identity. And you should see that after this example, an identity property is something that gets me back to my original number. So uh, multiplicative identity property is A times 1 gets me back to just A. So if I have 3x squared times 1, I just would write down 3x squared. And our last two properties are our inverse properties. We have the additive inverse. And that says any number plus its opposite is equal to 0. So that would be, example, 5 plus a negative 5, which is the same thing as 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. It's from this additive inverse property that we get the definition of what subtraction is. Subtraction is just adding an opposite. Okay. So when I cover the order of operations, I say that we do. I only cover 
addition. I do not cover subtraction because subtraction is just adding an opposite of a number. And my last property is the multiplicative identity. No, multiplicative inverse. And it says any number times its reciprocal, and the reciprocal is just one over that number or that number flipped over, is equal to 1. For example, 4 times 1 quarter, well, that's 4 over 1 times 1 over 4 is equal to 4 over 4, which is 1. Do it with a, another fraction. 2 thirds times 3 halves is 6 over 6. Any number divided by itself right here is 1. And this is where we come up with the definition of division. So again, when I talk about order of operations, I do not talk about division because division is multiplying by the reciprocal of a number. So I always emphasize the multiplication portion aspect of it, just like I, for subtraction, I emphasize it's adding an opposite. And if you keep those straight, um, you'll have less issues with the order of operations, which is another lecture. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine properties. And again, if you are in eighth grade math, algebra one, or geometry, you are given a page in your composition notebook that these need to be written on. You don't necessarily need to write out these examples on the right-hand side, but you do need to put those definitions in there. And that's so that you can use these. Um, by the time you get to algebra two, I expect you to really, really know them. I will tell you on your smarter balance test, you're gonna be asked which property is being shown in various steps of um, work.